Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another page and I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I'm going to use. Most of it is from the February kit front row and I do grab some stuff from past kits and a few things from my stash like the washi tape and some of the stamps. So a lot of the stuff is from this month's kit and I always seem to gravitate to a doily and then I'm showing you some of the papers. There's one from Basic Gray, one from Studio Calico, one from Teresa Collins, and the other one I'm not really sure. And then the background is a vanilla. So at this point, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I'm just kind of staring at it. And then I'm looking at my pictures. And then I decide, okay, well, I'll start with that orange paper because on the floor it's sort of um, orangey wood wood grain looking flower flower <laughs> uh, wood grain I don't know where flower came from but wood grain floor and then I'm deciding on that blue paper because my daughter's wearing a blue shirt and then I'm going to use that blue grid paper and that's where I'm going to do my journaling so I'm just erasing some of the pencil marks. And like I said, at this point, I have no idea. I mean, I'm starting to get us, you know, more of a sense of where the page is going at this point. So I'm going to stick that doily right in there and I'll just, you know, do the journaling around it. And I'm going to put a doily to the bottom of the page. and also at the top left. So then it's like a sort of a, a row, diagonal row of all the embellishments. And then I'm cutting out some of the basic gray, the cut aparts. And I really, anything that I can cut apart like that, I just love. Um, that's the main reason why I usually get the extra paper from Studio Calico because just the sheets that I know I can cut apart I usually love the back side, but then I can't use it if I don't have the other. So I usually end up buying the second sheet, like the second package. And at this point, I'm just looking through my stuff, seeing what else I could put on there. And then I decide like the tip of that paper is the same as what I had put behind the photo. So I'm going to put that to the top left and then I'm going to put orange paper to the bottom right. I'm just kind of going through my stuff trying to see what else I could add. And at first I think I'm going to put a strip of that blue paper and then I decide no I'm just going to cut out a circle but then I find that circle is a little too big so I'm going to cut out a smaller circle or punch out a smaller circle and I'm going to cut it in half and put one at the bottom and one at the top and then at this point I'm still looking to see what else I could add I'm thinking of those tags but the blue is is not right so I decide against it. I had thought about that stamp but I had used it last time so I decided not to. I'm thinking of that little geo tag wood veneer wood veneer geo tag and then I decide against it. I'm going to go with another one and that hello speech bubble because she's on the phone and the other one the love wood veneer that's going to be part of my title so I'm kind of looking at all the stamp sets I took out to see what I could use and then I end up deciding on that little he said she said potty people and I do also end up using a potty girl I love those little wood veneer potty people I could use them on every single one of my pages I've tried to use those little 
tabs, I guess, and I just can't, I take them out every time. So I'm hoping the next layout, I'm gonna be able to use them up. So I'm still looking through some stuff, trying to figure out what else I could add to that page. And when I get stuck like that, I just start gluing down what I know is going to stay where it is. I decide to take a photo so I remember exactly where everything is. And then I'm using my ATG gun to glue everything else or part of the stuff. And then I also use my quick dry adhesive and I decide to leave everything in, in place and just kind of lift it up a little bit and squeeze some glue so that I don't have to move anything. And then I'm going to glue down my photo. I'm kind of scrapping sideways so for me to line up anything is is sometimes a little difficult so I need to figure out a way to to set up my camera so that it's more user friendly I guess so that I'm not scrapbooking sideways because half the time I don't know if um, my stuff is straight or not. And then at this point I decide, no, I'm not going to put a piece of that orange paper. Instead, I'm going to go get my butterfly punch. And for that touch of orange, I'm going to put a butterfly. I usually use a lot of butterflies on my pages and I haven't lately. So I went to get my butterfly. And now I'm going to start on the bottom cluster. And I think I forget to bring up my page. I actually had some washi tapes on either side of it that kind of told me where the page was so that I would remember, you know, if I was in camera shot. And I think my camera moved. So, because I have to reset it every time I, I record. But I have washi tape on the floor too. To, and I don't think I... I might have moved it so sorry you didn't see the bottom cluster but I will show um, close-up pictures at the end so I'm going to start gluing you know the wood veneers and this is where I decide that I'm going to use that blue geotag instead of the just plain wood veneer and uh, that big foam tape roll that I have I just finished one of my ATG rolls and I decided to roll some of it on that and I don't know if you can tell there but it, it keeps flipping open so I don't know if it's going to work because I'm afraid the stickiness from the foam tape is going to go away so I didn't put very much on that little roll so if it doesn't work I'll just keep just pulling out the big roll because I don't want to you know to have to have to throw out big st strips of foam tape <clears throat> excuse me every time I go to use it because it's it's not sticky anymore so I end up using the my happy place sticker from the October afternoon and then this washi tape is from we are memory keepers and it's the orange and pink set so I want to glue some tape in three different spots <coughs> Okay. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water. And um, then I decide on put putting some enamel dots in the center of each butterfly. Instead of just, you know, randomly on the page. <clears throat> and that was from my own stash. I didn't have enough orange from the kit left. So at this point, um, I'm looking for my heart punch and I can't find it anywhere. I ripped my craft room apart. I had a bunch of boxes that I still needed to put away from Scrabble Calls and ended up starting putting stuff away. Totally forgot that the recording was on. I just was on a mission to find that punch. So it's that punch right there. 
So I knew I had a sample of it. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just use my Copic marker and color it in, use it as a mask. But it doesn't work. It kind of leaks. So then I go back to looking for my punch. And I'm sorry, I totally forgot that was there. So I didn't cut it out. But I do have something that I want to share with you. I joined a Facebook group. And it's the whole point is to do 50 projects before you place an order again. Now I have to say, I'm still going to get my Studio Calico kits because the whole point that I got the Studio Calico kits was that I want to stop shopping like at different stores and getting full packages of papers because I thought if I get everything I need in a kit, then I'll be able to scrapbook the pages that I want every month and then get the kit done and over with and move on to the next kit which I've been doing really well, if you want to use the term killing the kids, but I'm still buying <laughs> from all these different stores. So what I decided to do was to join that Facebook group and I'll link it in my video description. So I'm going to do 50 projects before I buy anything else that's not Studio Calico. So this is project number three. So I figure it's probably going to take me, you know, two months, maybe three months to get 50 pages done, depending on how desperate I get to really want to shop. <laughs> I might uh, get a whole bunch of pages done, but I plan on recording every single page. So uh, that should, you know, slow me down a bit because I want to make sure that, I, you know, um, do some process videos. So. All that said, I did punch out, I used my Copic and colored it on vanilla and then I punched out the heart and put it on the middle of my little potty girl. I got a stamp set, I'd say about a month ago. You can go back and look at my, or two months ago, at my scrapbook hauls and it's from Scraptastic. And it has these little potty people with a heart in the middle and they're so cute. But I thought instead of using the stamp, I would just punch out my own and put it in the center. But it, it's one of my favorite, I guess, decoration is the potty people. So anytime I see it in a little stamp or like the wood veneer, I always, I always buy it. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm going, um, thinking about those stamps on how I'm going to be able to use them. So I don't want to stamp directly on the page because, I mean, with stamping, we all know that if you mess it up, that's it. It's on the background of the page and you're committed. So I, I just take a scrap of vanilla and I'm going to take the colors that I wanted. And I used orange soda from Hero Arts and Pool. And I think on the side it actually says uh, Tide Pool, but on the ink pad it says Pool. So I'm going to stamp the little girl and then with the orange, I'm going to stamp uh, the arrows, or I guess they're triangles, like arrowheads in orange. And then it kind of goes to the little potty boy that says he said. And it's just to kind of mimic her texting her boyfriend um, while we were on our trip. I mean, she was also texting her friends, but she, because um, we're in Canada. So for us, when we go to the States, nothing is covered. We basically have to turn our data off because, I mean, we'll pay through the nose. So she made sure that she had texting for, you know, US to Canada so she could keep texting her boyfriend. And she paid for it and, uh, and was a happy camper because he wasn't able to, uh, to come with us because he had just gotten a brand new job so he can come. So at this point, I decide to start working on my title. And the little love wood veneer is part of my title. And then these basic gray letters, I love them. I, we got them in a couple of uh, kit a couple of months ago. They're just white. So I love them so much that I went on Simon Says and bought three or four more other pages. But they're so versatile. Like you can color them whatever color you want. And... I mean, there's tons of letters, so I'm sure I'm not going to run out for a long time. So at this point, I just put love my phone. 
But while I was uploading this to my iMovie, um, I thought, well, I should really put love my iPhone because that's what it is. So I just kind of moved the title over and put iPhone and it's not even in the photos. I just uh, thought of it once I was all done. So now I'm adding some of the twine for the butterflies to kind of mimic their, you know, fluttering around. And then I don't know why I cut my twine ahead of time because I always, always, always lo lose one of them and I have to cut another. But I mean, twine is, you get like 400 and some yards in a, in a spool so it's not the end of the world but I think from now it's because I'm afraid to forget to use it so I think what I'll do is I'll just cut a piece to remind myself and then I'll just cut the others when when I'm ready so like I said it's just gonna say love my phone and I'm gonna glue down that wood veneer and I just uh, use glue dots on my buttons I don't have any um, twine or anything in my needle right now and it literally takes me about 10 minutes to get it in there. I need to get one of those little jigger things to put through my needle so I can pull it through. I had one and I don't know where it is so I need to go to Walmart maybe tomorrow while I'm at work and, and buy a package of 10 or something. And um, so then it takes me forever. I put glue at the tip and try to get it in. But so I didn't want to waste time doing that. But I do end up sewing the buttons. And then I put some glimmer glaze. I put a blue and a orange in the three clusters. And again, I didn't want to waste time doing the journaling because my battery was going to die. And I was afraid that I wasn't going to get the page completely done before my battery died. So I stamp the date, July 2012, and here are a few close-ups of the different clusters of the page. And there's the bottom cluster there that I was off camera for most of the page. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try and fix that. So thanks for watching. Bye.